Hello guys, welcome back to the Wheels FX YouTube channel. So, a lot of people have been waiting for this episode. It's been around a week, maybe a week, I'm not sure. Um, I have no clue, but we have done it. So, if you've actually been keeping up with the channel, we started with a nice 10 pound deposit. Thinking about it now, I probably should have started with the same account like throughout the whole series. Um, I should have just made £10, put it to 1000 and then not done anything with the account and then done like 1000 to 10000 so I can show it all in one account. But um, that didn't happen. I did it over a few accounts, but I've shown everything, all my trades, account, live account and stuff like that. Um, I've shown it all on the channel throughout the whole series. So if you're doubting it at all, just go watch it all. I've shown it all. I'll quickly pop up a video here of the account currently. Um, because a lot of people say it's fake, like, I, I just couldn't care less if you think it's fake, um, because I know I've done it, so, it's all that matters really, isn't it, did it for myself, nice little challenge, um, so yeah, since the last episode, we were on around £9,300, around that sort of area, I'm pretty sure, um, because we did catch those nice gold buys, 4.0, we made around 3000 uh, 300 pounds and obviously we're around 700 pounds off at that point so we were looking to make maybe one two more trades to get up to that 10,000 pound mark on the account um, this week has been very very slow like literally terrible um, markets haven't really been moving much gold is now broken under 1800 but it's like called in my premium group link down below to that um, be sure to get in there fast. You don't want to miss these trades. Um, we're up 20, 22% this year already. 22%. If you've got a hundred thousand pound account and you followed my trades for 40 pounds a month, um, you'd be up 22,000 pounds. You know, I mean, for 40 pounds, you're getting insane value. Um, but you know, it's your choice. Um, so what we actually entered after those few trades on gold those big wins um, from 1846 to 1858 we actually entered more gold buys from around 1860 area um, it, what happened here was I entered and gold went up straight into profit like one and a half percent in profit we were loving life and if I closed then the account would have been at 10k so you would have completed the challenge already um, but you know, I didn't, I was holding out for the take profit, um, I could have just closed, challenge done, but you know, um, that's what happens in Forex, you don't win every trade. Um, so I closed one of those at around 138 profit, um, pretty much at break even, around 10 pips. Then the other four um, did actually lose, so we were down to around 9, 9k, 9.1k, something like that, um, 9k let's say. and. So obviously now we're a thousand away. So we've got to have an even better trade now to um, reach the 10K. So the pressure was on a little bit. You know, I didn't want to force a trade. So I waited it out. I waited it out. Um, that first trade, I closed pretty much um, break even, like I said. And the second trade, this was a nice trade on Tuesday, caught in the premium group. Uh, we made 4% on this one and on the account we made now we're going to go over the analysis for this trade which we entered which completed the challenge from 9k to 10.2k um, so if we actually look now I've just gone into replay mode so we can actually see what's going on here and as you see, we actually entered this on the 15 minute. So if you look up here, this is where we had that heavy consolidation up here. So once price broke out, came back into this level, broke out, retested once again. So the fake out here, um, come back into the zone, break it again, retest it, create lower lows, lower highs here. So now we are looking for a continuation. Um, follow the trend, obviously. So what we had was Okay, so when price wicked up here, um, it wicked into this 
little zone we had marked out from this level. So as you see, um, if we get rid of this one now, we wicked into it. So now this is support, broke it, wicked into it again, retested the support's resistance, pushed down, created um, lows, pushed up again, and we entered around on this wick here. So it's very nice sign for entry. We had small stops at around 1855.17, so only 23 pip stop losses. So, you know, beautiful. Um, take profit was around 1841.657. Um, just put that around there. So we got a nice one to 4.75. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so the reason I actually entered this trade, as I just mentioned, break, retest, simple of the structure. There is a lot more going on in this trade, but that's um, content for the course. If you want my course, link in the description. Follow my trades, link in the description to my VIP as well. Uh, so you can follow all my trading and analysis um, over on there. So we were targeting this area, just as you can see simply. We've got this area down here of the previous lows. So we are just targeting the previous lows. Pretty simple, really. Um, if you want the in-depth of this, buy my course. Um, boom. First candle after we entered, we entered on the wick. Boom, bearish engulfing. So we're like, oh, this trade is absolutely beautiful. Um, we did actually enter a big 2.0 lot size on this one. So, you know, we are we're risking quite a bit. But you see the second candle pulled back up. People would be closing now. They're like, oh, we're pulling back up now. We are, you know, we're, we're not looking very good. But I held strong. I actually drew my Fibonacci from the push down. We did actually have another confluence here on the 61.8%. Fibonacci level so then we had that push up rejecting this sort of area here where we had wicks before so I wasn't worried about this slow bearish push down to create new lows there we go wicks from this area here and then boom wicked into the take profit absolutely smashed and then we reverse but then gold just carried on melting down and I did actually call shorts um, in gold this week um, in my VIP so I'll quickly show you in my folder in January, the recent trade we took. Um, so I'll quickly show you that. So as you see, this was the before. Um, nice short positions here. I called it into 17.90. Boom, absolute perfection. So as you see, very little drawdown, absolute perfection. Smashing the take profit. Um, we didn't trade today because it was NFP. Um, you probably know how crazy NFP is if you're a trader. Um, so yeah, that was that trade broke down uh, for the trade that basically secured the profit. Um, this was actually in London session as well. Um, we entered a little bit early in the day compared to usual, you know, around 10 o'clock. Um, and then in New York, that's when we hit our take profit pretty much. Um, but yeah, on this trade, 1,200 and 60 pounds so if that focuses you can see the losses above then you can see that 1260 um, this had, did actually bring the total to around 10,200 um, pounds and I have been trading it this week as well and yeah we had a, few, a little loss on gold a little one percent loss so now the account is on the account is now on 10,093 pounds and 48 pence um, so this week, if I show you, we are up around 6,000, 6,243.8, 0 0.48 even. Um, so you know, it's a very, very beautiful, beautiful week trading. I will go over the analysis because a lot of people ask me what my confluence is for each trade, what, why do I enter them? So after I've talked a little bit more, we will go over the analysis, the trades, why I took them, what you can basically copy from my trading or learn from it, put it into your own strategy, and maybe even do a challenge like this, using risk management, of course. Because um, yeah, you want to use risk management. It's no consistency otherwise. Um, but yeah, the account's sitting at 10K, so. But yeah, we did actually catch gold shorts today in the uh, premium group. So 
I did actually just post the trades on my Instagram for you guys. Click there. Well, not click there, but there's the name for my Instagram. Quickly show you that. So as you see, we have the before, the after, where I called it in the group um, on the Instagram Wheels Effects. My only Instagram is there. Any other accounts follow you, message you, not me. I don't message you first. Like, if someone messages you pretending to be me, it's not me. I will not message you first, ever. Um, so, there you know. Um, this video is out a bit late because my Wi-Fi issues. So I haven't been able to film or upload this video. Um, so now we are uploading this on the Friday, I think. 